Today we're looking at issue number 45. So this one was released on January 25th, 1999. At the time, Jordan was about five or six months into his second retirement. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I, I'm reviewing all 50 Michael Jordan Sports Illustrated covers. I'm doing a different video for each cover, 50 issues in 50 days. Um, you can see right here on the cover, it says, uh, you know, why his retirement is um, a blessing in disguise for the NBA. I, I think that's hilarious. You know, Sports Illustrated has a well-known history for putting hot takes like this on the cover that... Um, in retrospect, end up being freezing cold. Um, in truth, Jordan's retirement was an absolute disaster for the NBA. Um, ratings fell by 50% the year after Jordan's last season in 1998. They continued to fall another 30% after that, finally bottoming out in about 2007, almost uh, 10 years later. You know, this was way before streaming and mobile apps were everywhere, so you can't blame it on technology or, or say that the rating systems were flawed because... You know, they have trouble measuring streaming and on-demand. It was way before that became, you know, so prevalent as it is today. Um, game 6 of the 1998 NBA Finals had a 22 rating with 36 million households. So I'm kind of trying to give you a perspective here. 22 ratings, 36 million households. In 2007, um, the NBA Finals had a 10 rating with 7 million households. And it really wasn't until LeBron started to gain mass appeal um, around 2008, 2009, 2010, that things started to turn around. Other than uh, horrend horrendous bad takes from SI over the years, um, some other ones in 1993, uh, a famous SI cover, you know, questioned, you know, can the NFL be saved? Um, obviously, the NFL has, has never been stronger than it is today. Um, in 1999, they had a cover that declared David Duvall the world's best golfer. Um, 1985, Will Doug Flutie saved the USFL. And this one is my favorite. This was from 1985 when they said D3 player Joe Dudick um, would win the Heisman Trophy that year. And if you remember, a guy named Bo Jackson uh, won it that year. So some freezing cold SI takes over the years. There's a million of them to choose from. Um, as you can see, I've got this one issue graded at 9.6. If you've seen some of my unboxing videos, you know I tend to get frustrated um, when getting a 9.6 with modern issues, just so close to a 9.8. Um, CGC does not do greater notes for issues above 9, so I really don't know why they didn't give this a 9.8. It's really a, almost a perfect, uh, a perfect issue. So I should be happy with 9.6, and I am, but uh, you know, so close to 9.8, always frustrating. Um, like and subscribe and comment here on YouTube. Everywhere else, it's CGC Sports Illustrated. Cover number 45, coming up in the next video.